Once you create your data extension, you need to have information for these different field names. So you need to have first names, last names, occupations, genders, cities, and email addresses. This should be coming from a CSV file like this one here. So as you can see, I've made nine fake names here, starting from LeBron James to Michael Jordan, all the way down to Brad Pitt and Cristiano Ronaldo. So you can look at all of these first names, last names, their occupation, their gender, the city that they're living in or that they were born in, and a fake email address that I created for them. This is all for demo purposes, but you'd need real email addresses here for your customers. So let's look at how to import this CSV file into a data extension. So we're going to click records here on this data extension and then click import. And the data extension we'll import to is our demo extension. The file location will be on our computer. If it's on your FTP, you'll click here, but this is on our computer, so we'll click browse. You'll want to make sure that this is a .csv file before you upload it and click open and then choose whether the delimiter is a comma, a tab, or something else like a pipe. And then choose the date format, and then choose add an update, add only, update only, or overwrite. I'll put it as overwrite for now, and we can choose to skip rows in the import file with bad data, and we can choose to respect double quotes as a text qualifier, and click next. And we can see that we can map by the header row, map by ordinal, or map manually. Let's go ahead and map by header row and click next. And we have the information to review about this import. And we can get a notification to our email address when the import is complete and click import. And now if we look at the records in our demo extension, we can see that all of the people that were in our CSV file have been imported into our data extension. And that is how you import data from a CSV file into your data extensions. Now that we know how to import data into our data extensions, let's continue talking about data extensions.